you are watching the Nut and Fancy Project, the original Gear Adventure channel. And once in a while, when the mood strikes, I'll give you guys a clothing review. Something to consider for your systems. On the table is a TrueSpec 24-7 tactical jumpsuit, and I think it rocks. There's your mini review if you're in a hurry. And speaking of being in a hurry, I could actually make this video about, I don't know, five minutes. Rip through the features, the details, the value, the quality levels, done. Five minutes. But if you're in that much of a hurry, I say you just skip videos altogether and just go to the TrueSpec website and look at the details there. There you go. But if you want to stick around, I try to give my subscribers a little bit more, and I usually call that little bit more one of two things, philosophies of use or competitive options, and those take time. It's just that way. So let's talk about philosophy of use, just very briefly, on a jumpsuit. Question, is it right for you? I think in order to answer that, first and foremost, <laughs> I'm laughing because I think this is kind of funny, is you have to know if you're a jumpsuit type of dude. Some aren't. Some think it, it just looks too tactical, that you look like a SWAT operator in a jumpsuit. And honestly, that's what these suits are intended for, is for law enforcement folks. Basically a grab and go bag. So they have their clothing, zip it on, they're ready to go for a call out. So it's actually a call out suit, is the, the actual philosophy of use on this. Some guys may not be good with that. They're like, I don't like the look of it. I, I get it, you know, I respect it. Uh, but consider this, and we're gonna talk about the upsides of a jumpsuit, and they are many. Remember, you're, you know, you're watching a video from a 21 year Lieutenant Colonel Air Force pilot, so I wore jumpsuits my whole career. <laughs> so I loved them and I hated them at once, but I mostly liked them. And I, most of the guys I fly with, and actually the girls I flew with too, liked them as well. They're very, very practical, very, very useful. So, are you a jumpsuit type of guy, or gal for that matter? Only you can determine that. I hope you will open up your, your horizons a little more and consider it. Because again, the upsides are many. Second part of that is, do you have a body style that will fit in a jumpsuit? And I don't mean to be funny or anything, but maybe you're a big boy. Or a big gal. And, you know, I've been there myself. You know what I'm saying? And if you kind of have a gut... If you're kind of big, I don't know if a jumpsuit's gonna work for you that well. You might find it too constricting. You follow? And you wanna be comfortable, you wanna be able to be maneuverable, especially if you're gonna use it in a tactical or WRL role where you need a lot of mobility, you're gonna be moving a lot. So consider those two questions. But if we talk about philosophy of use, we'll go back to what the suit is intended for, and that is a call-out rig. But for you, the sheepdog, the responsible civilian, or I have thousands and thousands of uh, four constitution law enforcement guys and gals that watch the show, for you as well, for your bug out kit, this thing rocks. It's one piece, obviously, it's a suit, so it's less things to worry about. It's joined, so if you're in a snowy environment, you won't get snow or debris or whatever leaves down your backside, it's an integral suit that is a huge upside if we're going to talk about the upsides of the jumpsuit and it's very quick to put on and take off if you've never worn one before obviously it's uh, basically operated as such you just step into it zip it up bang it's on that's it man it's really awesome uh, getting back to my Air Force experience that's why we liked it so much because it was so simple to put on and off just very comfortable too, if you size it correctly. Okay, and this is the one I'm gonna recommend, by the way, the True Spec brand, 24-7, and thank heavens it's still around there, are here to be purchased. I thought it would go by the wayside. I've been testing this for about two and a half years. I have several I've tested, and you've seen them in photographs and videos of me wearing this in run and guns. The Walther PPQ video showed me in this one, the black one, and it's just an awesome grab-and-go, perhaps be okay suit that you might want to integrate into your system. Let's get into the features real quick because the more you see these features, you'll really understand how much value is delivered in this suit. And you're actually going to save money if you go with this versus a two-piece spec 
BDU situation, our TRU um, clothing option, which by the way are awesome. The fabric is the same. It's going to be 65% cotton, 35% polyester, ripstop. Now I reviewed the True Spec uh, pants several years ago. They're excellent. So are the 511s for that matter. It's just a great, comfortable, durable fabric. Will it retain water? Absolutely, it will. It's not waterproof. What we're striking in the fabric choice, I shouldn't say what we are, but what True Spec is doing is comfort. And it's going to be very similar to the military fabrics that, if you're in the military or in law enforcement for that matter, you're very familiar with it. It's a great fabric. Not perfect, it, perfect. it will retain water. And uh, I think there was an expedition I showed you guys on camera about three years ago with Allie and I went up there is when I was testing the pants made of this. And yeah, they stayed wet. <laughs> That's a downside, okay? If you want it to be more water resistant, you're going to have to dump the cotton and just make it a higher percentage of either nylon or polyester. It's going to be a louder fabric then. Okay, and you don't want to have too much, especially in a tactical environment. There's that word, tactical environment, uh, because you're going to have just a fabric making a lot of noise against itself. Cotton makes it more comfortable, and some people think more breathable and also a quieter fabric. So there you go. How about the pockets? Um, they rule in short. How's that? They just are phenomenal. Be careful about loading all this stuff up. You're going to have, I don't know, too much weight with your jumpsuit. I don't. I'm very uh, particular about what I carry around directly in my pockets. I'll go to LBE to carry more stuff. It's more comfortable. I can take it off when I'm not using it, and that way I don't have all that weight on my person. But if this is all you have, and this is another advantage in the pilot environment, because if you're in a survival situation, you can load up the suit with everything you need to. Here's the pockets. They're bellowed chest pockets. Bellowed means they're, they kind of have this expansion flap on the sides, Velcro on the top. There's a pin pocket on the interior, pin slot here. Another one on this side. Check this out. Hidden document pockets right here. Excellent. They're on both sides. Here's one right here. Now there's no morale patch Velcro on the sleeves if you are I don't know, used to that like we are in the Air Force environment. No big deal. You can sew some on if you need to. You might have some challenge matching the color you get. This is in khaki. And I love their khaki. It's actually a very light khaki. It's not Coyote brand. You can see it. I think the camera is capturing it pretty good. But if you want to put a morale patch on there, I'm talking Velcro so you can do it. No big deal. Just sew it on. We did that in the Air Force all the time. So And no pockets on the sleeves either like the TRUs have, I think. Uh, I didn't miss it though. I really didn't. Here's the pockets down low. You have a slant pocket. This is where I'm usually clipping my knife. You do have a dedicated knife pocket here on the tactical jumpsuit. It is smaller in size. You can clip on here. Back pocket here. And again, we see the asymmetric flap design that TrueSpec does. I kind of love it and I hate it depending on um, what I'm doing. You see it's anchored on this side and so you can't open up the flap all the way. The good thing about it is you won't have stuff dump out of your pocket through here if you forget to fasten it. So you just open up on one side and dish it. I don't use this back pocket too much. Here's a forward thigh pocket. You're going to have magazine sub pockets inside. So if you want to carry a magazine, you can. Again, I don't recommend it. That's a very heavy item when it's loaded up and it's going to be in the worst place possible. And that's down on your thigh. Because you, as you start to run and get in motion, you don't want that weight around your legs, says I. It's just harder to get going, it's harder to stop, it's just wears you out. Keep it up higher, around your chest. LB is what I say. And then here's a cell phone pocket, also anchored asymmetric flap design. I just call it asymmetric, I'm not sure what their name is. Bellowed as well. And the, the crotch, <laughs> I look at all the details, you guys know that, is not gusseted. What's a gusseted crotch, nothing fancy? Well, that may, basically means they would sew a, a dedicated fabric panel in this area here so you have more freedom of movement. Maybe a downside of a jumpsuit is, <laughs> I'm going to talk to my dudes right now, is that when you kneel down, it can actually <laughs> scrunch your balls up. <laughs> I'm just being honest, dudes. Uh, and it can actually be uncomfortable as it gathers around, <laughs> you know, your, uh, that, yeah. So yeah, it's, I like to see it gusset around there, but it's not a showstopper. Again, if you size it properly, and these do come in long sizes, the jumpsuits, 
uh, it's going to be a lot more comfortable. This is a large long for me. I'm 6'3", about 206, probably the way I've been eating lately, probably around 212 lately. Um, but it fits me really well. I like it. Gusseted sleeves though. See, here's a good example of that. See that dedicated separate fabric panel? And why do they do this? So when you raise your arms, um, you have more freedom of movement. That you're not going to have constriction under your armpits and you're going to have more length to your sleeves. Speaking of which, Velcroed. Just like a flight suit and the arm services. Mandarin collar on this. I love that. Uh, it's functional. It doesn't get in the way. You know, the old flap collar, actually, don't mind that one either. And that's on the TRUs and a lot of BDU designs because I'll pop that up when the wind kicks up. It's snowing. And then I'll button it. And it gives a little bit of weather protection. You have a little bit less with the Mandarin collar, but it sure looks cool in a slow profile. It reminds me, actually, of Luke Skywalker in his Bespin uniform. <laughs> you guys remember that? Empire Strikes Back? It actually looks exactly like that outfit, which... In my book is a cool thing if you're talking about cool looks. No, we're not going to Comic Con. Uh, there's your Velcro attachment here, and I found the comfortable myself to be, or the, the collar to be very comfortable myself. Here's your sizing for this one, large, long. And this is very cool. Look inside. Mesh interior on the back, and this actually doubles as a storage pocket for the entire suit. So let's get back to philosophy of use. It's a bug out kit, grab and go garment, or in this case, jumpsuit. You actually fold the whole thing inside of itself in this mesh back and it becomes a pouch, very compact, and you don't have pants or a top to lose. Back to the simplicity formula. I know you guys are gonna ask, hey, could you put an armor plate back there? Uh, it's actually really big for an armor plate, so it's gonna be swimming around unless you can get one to fill that up. Again, I say separate it from your clothing, put it on your LBE because you won't be running around all the time with that armor plate. And you want to be able to pop it on and off. But if you wanted to, you probably could. Let's look at the stitching, the quality. It's bar tacked everywhere I would want it bar tacked. Stitching is excellent. Fabric is excellent. These are YKK zippers. They don't come with zipper pulls, so I just threw some emptied or hollowed out 550 cord here. Makes it easier to grab when you're running your mechanics gloves or something. And some of you guys may be asking, hey, uh, okay, jumpsuit, cool, I haven't really thought about it, and I really like what you're saying, nothing, but can I run a belt on it? And the answer is yes. You're looking at it. So you actually, when you run a belt on this, most people won't know you're running a jumpsuit because it looks like a pair of pants and a top. And only those people who are really looking closely will say, oh, that's a, you know, a tactical jumpsuit. And then you have Velcro adjustments here. It'll come under the... The belt loop here, you can adjust it. The knees are double reinforced, cotton ripstop, and interestingly, they have their dedicated pockets inside. Let's see if I can show it to you. And if you want, you can run a knee pad inside. There's a way to, like, there it is. You can just fish your pad inside and then smooth it out. So, a neoprene pad, a closed cell foam pad would work well. Myself, always run exterior, hard shell plastic pads on my knees. Uh, to me, that works better for my system. Here's your ankles right there. Easy to get on and off, too. You may be asking yourself that. Can I get it on with boots? The answer is yes. And then once you get it on, just zip it. It's not really bellowed here. I kind of wished it was, but it's a small detail. By that, I mean there's fabric underneath this that will pr uh, prevent debris and scree getting in your boots. But I really didn't see a problem with that. And then you just have a Velcro attachment here. It should have more Velcro so you can really cinch that around your boot ankle if you're in deep sand again scree weeds whatever value is outstanding you will die when I tell you the price I got these for all these were purchased I think 39 bucks that's right 39 bucks at the time I think uh, Botac Tactical was selling them but they're available in other places and I think uh, the going rate on these, there's one in black. It's also available instantly in navy and olive drab. The black one I think looks really cool. But again, for some guys, maybe too tactical, too SWAT team-ish. Uh, it, it looks cool and it's functional. I don't know if black is the best color out there in a wilderness environment because it does really blot out. You can see it easily. This one's better. Uh, no multicam in this, no camouflage patterns that I know of. They may change in the future. Uh, but for around $80, uh, 
the true spec 24 7 tactical jumpsuit is totally worth it totally worth it can you take a jumpsuit are you that type of person do you have a body style that will fit into it if you do you'll love the ease of getting it on and off the amazing cargo capabilities it has the comfort because if you're a tall dude, you can find a size that will fit you. You will find that it's comfortable, rides well as you're going through your running and gunning activities. Highly recommend it. And you can integrate it into your bug out kit. That's a nut and fancy review. Check you later.